Hello, my name is Sebastian. Today I will talk about Angular interceptors or so-called HTTP interceptors. In Angular, we have the opportunity to add HTTP interceptors. Uh, so the interceptors is exactly what it's named. It intercepts an HP API call that we make and you can manipulate it in, in any way. So you could, for instance, add a JWT token authorization or authorization header token to each and every API calls. And this simplifies our lives a lot. So we don't have to do it manually for each and every API call. We don't need to, to build a logic that does this either. It will be something that's automatically implemented in Angular. So first things first, we jump into the app module. The first thing we need to do is essentially we need to import two different modules. So we need to import HTTP client module in order for us to actually call an API. And the second thing we want to import is the HTTP interceptors, which is something that we will need to to use here. So next thing is import a HTTP client module and we can add a provider. We say provide HTTP interceptor and this is the actual interceptor that we are going to create. So let's go ahead and create it. ng generate uh, interceptor uh, and we're going to call it auth interceptor. All right, well, once this is done, make sure to import it. Now that we have imported it, uh, we can jump into the interceptor and add some logic. Right. So now when we jump into the auth interceptor that we just created, the things we first and foremost need to do is we need, let's create a dummy token. Uh, since we don't have any backend up and running, we'll create it with my dummy token. Second thing is that we need to create a clone of the request that we have. And here we, we're actually going to set uh, some headers. The headers that we're going to set is the authorization that I mentioned before. For instance, this is widely used in the JWT uh, environments. So, uh, and, and the first one specifies the header name and the second one specifies the header data. So the header data should then be bearer and then my dummy token in this case. Now we need to change so that we actually handle the cloned one. For instance, the, the one that we just created. So let's just import some parameters here. Error, let's remove the deprecated logic. So now that we have it, I will explain it a bit further. So what will happen is that we'll receive an HPI call. When the API call is intercepted, we are going to create a clone and we're going to make sure that we add an, an header to the API call, which is going to be authorization. So we clone it, we extend it, we add the authorization. Uh, and lastly, then we, we use the next handle cloned, which means that we'll actually go proceed with this one. And then here is something that's widely used as well, which I would suggest anyone to do. It's to pipe, to use the pipe and, and catch error. In this case, what we can do is we can say, hey, it's a status 401, which would mean that it's an unauthorized user. So here we can either go with two different ways. We could sign out the user to make them relogin, or we could face, uh, force them user relogin on the page, like with a pop-up that actually makes the user login. So the, the token needs to be revalidated in this case or regenerated. All right, so this is the way and here you can throw. You can also go ahead and add different kind of statuses. For instance, for 404, like if someone is trying to call an API that doesn't exist, here you can you, you can throw a different error, which could be, hey, API does not exist. Uh, so this is something that will be intercepted for each and every API call that's being made. Let's save this. Uh, the second thing we need to do is uh, uh, essentially just generating a service. So um, let's go ahead and add the service in the app folder. So ng generate service, and we're now we're going to generate the service with um, uh, calling my first service. All right. Once that's done, jump into my first service. Let's close this one. What we want to do now is we want to create a function that utilizes the HTTP. Uh, if you haven't looked how to actually create a, an HTTP call before, I have videos explaining that as well. But let's create a function here, get data, and then it will return this.http.get, and then we're going to use an API here. So it's it's going to be a, a URL for an, uh, an endpoint, essentially. So I'm going to use a free endpoint that I've been using. So it's it's the, uh, the brewery, uh, open brewery. API. So now if I save this, I should be able to utilize this from the app component. 
So first things first, I need to inject with dependence injection. I need to inject the service that I have. And secondly, I want to subscribe to the function in order for us to actually call it. So if I save this and I jump into the HTML code that I have, we open the network tab. In this case, you'll see it, it will call the API that we just set up. Uh, and if we go to request headers, we should be able to see our uh, authorization bearer my dummy token. So in this way, you can actually intercept an API. You can also make sure that you log out uh, you can also make sure that you have something more user friendly to, to prompt to the user uh, more understandable error messages and so on. All right, guys, thanks. Thanks for me. This is the HTTP interceptors or the Angular interceptors. Um, if you have any com questions, anything you would like me to improve, uh, please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you, guys.